Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. as a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Funhouse is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? I was behind the backdrops getting warm. When I had first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. 
The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's just... You tell him that! They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. Found a body. A thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. I'm in. Gotta look around. I'm going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers. I wasn't ready to go, not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there, Senator Gate was there, so was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved. Here goes! 
Rose! Fire in the hole! No! Starting to sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. Address unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphones started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. You! Yes, Max. I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner slip? You're dead. <laughs> ah! Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just just wanted to say. Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby.
take care of him. Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes! I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? We found you out of it on V, covered in blood, burying the pieces of your wife and the pizza guy under a rose bush in the backyard. There's a bloody chainsaw in the bathtub, and by the looks of it, they had been shot in your bed. The murder weapons have your prints all over them, and you say you didn't do it. Hell no! I'm a fall guy! I've been framed! It's a setup! I was getting too close to the truth, so they had to get rid of me. This should be good. Your wife and the pizza delivery guy had to get rid of you? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, they, they were gonna whack me. Motherfuckers, they, they, they were gonna whack me, steal my money. It was self-defense. Right, your wife and the pizza guy were trespassing in your bed and you killed them. No, I didn't kill anyone, it's a frame-up. Weren't you listening? Okay, now I get it. Your wife and the pizza guy deviously conspired to set you up. They killed themselves in your bed with your gun, 
proceed to chop each other to pieces in your bathtub with your chainsaw and finally lure you to the backyard where they patiently wait under the rose bush to inject you with V and when you are helpless they leak blood all over you and call the police. Anything to add? See, that's just it. I wish it was that easy. And, and I know this sounds crazy, but they weren't in on it alone. It's much bigger than that. Basically, anyone who does home delivery is in on it. The mailman. And that means that the government is involved. The mailman told me all about it. So all we have to do is to get in touch with this mailman and we get the proof. See, that's not gonna work. He's dead. The mailman's dead. <sighs> I'm sure the DA would go easy on you if you'd just come clean right now and told where you buried his body. I suppose it's not under the same rose bush. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. You're not listening. You failed to grasp how serious this is. Okay, so how would you like to take this forward? Give me a gun and set me loose, and I'll have this mess sorted out in no time. Okay, wise guy, the comedy hour is over. You shut up for a while so I can write this crap down. I was putting off the inevitable. I had to go to my desk, get started on that damn report. I want to report a crime. You've come to the right place. Okay, so my boyfriend, the loser jerk, sits on his ass all day and keeps playing these stupid video games. You know, stupid dick justice and stuff. Doesn't go to work, gives me no thought. Unfortunately, being a jerk is not a crime. No, no, I wasn't finished. 10-4. So I got real sick Repeat. of it and threw the television out of the window. It was mine. I can do whatever I want with it, right? As long okay, as no one got by. hurt. That's what I told him. Go He's ahead. my ex, really. But now Negative. the sicko's threatening to kill me. That's a crime, right? He's been playing those video games an awful lot. Makes him a very good shooter. Holding that controller's like holding a gun, they say in the news. You gotta help me. I fear for my life. Okay, miss. Sit down for a moment, and we'll take your name and address and see what we can do about it. Okay. I wouldn't be afraid to go home if you'd be there. I can give you my number, in case you ever get an urge to protect someone. For crying out night. loud! Is it too much to ask for some privacy? I'll be out when it's done. I needed to talk to Mona. Behind bars, she wasn't going anywhere before I'd get some answers. The cells were downstairs. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. Yeah? Payne here. I need a statement from Mona Sachs. Sorry, Payne. She's upstairs in a lineup. The lineup wasn't on yet. I had time to go to my desk while waiting, get started on that report. It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinnie Gognitti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from a witness. Didn't she used to have the hots for you, Payne? I hear she has a new boyfriend. Getting laid would do her good. Talk about tense. They say she kicked out her husband a couple of years ago. Been taking care of her blind kid on her own. No wonder she's edgy. Anyways. She's talking to an eyewitness in the interrogation room. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. 
Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. I wanted to talk to Winterson's witness once she was done with him. The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. Pain here. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. <laughs> Not again, Jesus! Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him the moment the inner circle was mentioned. The lady can I use your phone? There's one die. through the door behind you. Well, you can use that. Never lies. I, mean, sure, I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Play some hoops later on? Your funeral. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Strap it! Oh! Armed perps in the lockup! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD! Drop your gun! Ah! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners.
thing here, trapped behind a desk, would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinnie Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor. Drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them. Even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you're going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. Why was I there again? Wait! Wait just a minute! Talk to me! What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want, by Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then. More than anything, I wanted her. You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. This way! The trouble with wanting something is the fear of losing it, or never getting it. The thought makes you weak. Get her out of my head. Find them, kill them. The cop and the killer bitch. No sidetracking. That's what the boss said. Yeah, yeah. All for it. Can't wait to get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Hey, what the hell? Ah, it's gonna... The was a misnomer. They were making a mess of it. I hate this. I hate this. I'm not going in there. Come on, you... So 
cool. Best show ever. Funhouse was Mona's playground. There! She's up there! Look out! She had disappeared back into the shadows. An intervention from above, over too soon. you through.
I was sick and tired of the cleaners speeding away in their vans. I had only one chance, no time to stop and think it through. 